Hello everyone, I am Dr. Adil Zia and today in this video I will be talking about how you can develop a research model using independent, dependent, mediator and moderator variables. The process of understanding about the uh, research model development, it needs the understanding of these uh, types of variables and you should have uh, understanding about uh, the uh, dependent, independent, mediator and moderator variables. In this video, I will try to explain what are uh, the different types of uh, the uh, variables, what does it mean, the meaning of variables and how we can develop a research model which can be used for the uh, research paper or to understand any concept. Further, um, this research model is also known by the name of conceptual framework. You might have seen that uh, in many publications they use the concept called uh, the uh, theoretical framework, conceptual framework, model development or conceptual model. So all these three uh, or four types of uh, model are actually the um, say explaining about the same thing which is called the interplay or the relationship of different types of variables. So uh, let's start with the understanding about the model and uh, as I just uh, explained that it's about the interplay of variables. Interplay means how these dependent, independent, mediator and moderator variables are interrelated what is their relationship and how um, one is having an impact on the other and how they are related or we can say how many uh, dependents are there how many independents are there how many mediators and moderators are there one thing i have to explain here as many of the students they uh, might get confused when they see the same variable is playing the role of the um, independent and in another model they may find the same uh, variable to act as uh, maybe as a mediator or a moderator. So uh, don't get confused. It's, it's all about your uh, conceptual framework, how you want to uh, make a, a model, how you will try to uh, make the interplay of these variables. Like for example, if I say, um, let's go back. If I say that there is uh, um, one type of variable which is called salary and another variable called uh, employee satisfaction. Now, these are the two variables. In the model, maybe I can say salary is an independent model whereas employee satisfaction is dependent. What does it mean? It means that employee satisfaction depends upon the salary. If you have good salary, um, it might have some impact on the satisfaction of employees. So we will represent it like this. Same way, you can, if I go back to uh, the interplay of variables here, what I mean to say, I can change the, the relationship. Here it is salary, here it is employee satisfaction. I can change this salary and I can just put another variable. And I will say maybe the employee satisfaction depends upon the company in which we are working. Okay. So if I say the company where I am working is an independent variable and employee satisfaction is the dependent variable and salary I can put it as a mediator or as a moderator. I will try to explain all these things in the coming slides. Now one more thing I want to explain about variable is that it's a certain situation or in the context what is the role which it is playing so it can play as the independent dependent mediator or the moderator 
So if you read more about the literature related to the different types of models, you will understand that it may be possible the same variable can act as an independent, it can act as a dependent, as a mediator or as a moderator. I will try to explain it in the coming slides with uh, the um, pictorial representation of a model. Here you are seeing that I have uh, written univariate, bi or multivariate. Like if the uh, um, context or uh, the situation where I have only one variable, it is called univariate. So in case of univariate, I cannot make any model. So we have to identify when we are going for any research or model development, we have to understand that how many variables are there. So if we are able to identify only single variable, we'll say it's a univariate. We cannot develop a model by univariate. Okay, So it should be by or multivariate means more than one variables like price, quality, age, all these are variables that varies, that changes. Okay, So this is, I just explained it to you. This is salary is independent whereas employee satisfaction is a dependent variable. Okay. Now, we will try to explain the um, dependent as independent as IB and dependent as DB. Now, you can have more than one independent variables and you can have one dependent variable. So, like this, it's a model. If I go back, this is also a model. It's a model bivariate model having two variables. You can make two variables and their relationship, it represents a very simple basic model. You can have more than one variables, independent variables, IV1 and IV2. These are independent variables, more than one variable. And DV, you can have as many as you want. It all depends upon what conceptual framework that you have. Similarly, you can have more than one dependent variable and one independent variable. These are uh, actually just for the example. These are not the real models that you can see. But it all depends upon your uh, conceptual model, your own understanding, your own theory, theoretical framework, how you want to explain, how you want to make the uh, dependent and independent variables and their relationships. Um, in this video, I'm just trying to make you understand that. Try to decide your own variables and based on your understanding and the literature review, you can make the interplay or the relationship among these variables and then you can develop your own model. In the uh, coming videos, I will try to explain how you can test these model, what are the different ways in which you can make this uh, model an authentic model, validating a model, reliability, validity, uh, different types of validity, what you have to do. So I will be making another video for that. Now this is another example where I have uh, explained how you can um, make a mediator and what does it mean? Independent and dependent we have seen anything which is coming in between the dependent and the independent is a mediator. So mediator means any variable which is a dependent and independent at the same time it is called mediator. Again I will repeat any variable which is dependent and independent at the same time is called a mediator. So this is a very simple way how you can identify the uh, variable. See, medi this mediator is acting as an independent for this variable, whereas this mediator is depending uh, um, just acting as a dependent variable for this independent. 
and these are moderator for example age and education now this is a practical uh, way in which I would just uh, like to explain like we have one variable called quality quality has some impact on satisfaction and satisfaction has some impact on loyalty so quality leads to satisfaction which leads to loyalty so here satisfaction is a mediator because it is passing through it okay so quality is an independent because there is no other variable here it is quality and satisfaction is a dependent variable for quality okay so satisfaction is acting as a dependent variable for quality and satisfaction is acting as an independent variable for loyalty so satisfaction is playing two roles as a dependent as well as uh, an independent so it is called a mediator now for moderator moderators are those variable that um, increases or decreases the impact of one variable on the other like we will say quality leads to satisfaction what about the age if you include another variable age what will happen do uh, the the respondents of every age do they um, consider the quality leads to satisfaction or you can say education higher educated people how they treat quality leads to satisfaction same way satisfaction to loyalty what's the role of age and education so this is the relationship interplay of one two three four variables where age and education act as the moderators whereas satisfaction is the mediator quality independent and loyalty as a dependent variable this is a real life example of a, a published paper and i have uh, written here the reference of this model from where i have taken i have also mentioned it in the description box um, about the source of this model now in this practical example you can understand that attitude objective norms these are all the variables independent variables this green purchase intention see it is in the middle but see the arrows it is all going inside so don't consider this as the um, a mediator it is the dependent variable so you can beautify this by uh, changing the direction of uh, the variables you can put all the variables on one side you can just distribute and place all the variables in different directions to make it look better or um, just have a good pictorial representation of the model so these are all the uh, independent variables um, but when we try to read the details of this model we can understand what is the role of willingness to pay we don't know whether they uh, consider it like uh, the independent variable or they want to consider it like uh, the moderator okay so mediator is uh, not there i don't know there is no mediator i can't see in this model okay let's go to another one this is also uh, another uh, published model paper uh, reference is also mentioned here you can see these are service quality uh, variables these are all independent variables and now you can understand loyalty here is acting as the dependent variable and commitment and trust these are all the mediators see for loyalty see the arrows to understand trust and commitment is working as a here mediator now 
in this model they have expressed the uh, moderating variable as marital status gender connection type so they put it here so these are moderating variables so it all depends upon you how you want to represent how you want to develop a model the um, again i would just like to remind you that it's all about just the interaction of the dependent independent moderator and the mediator factors which is uh, presented in the form of pictures and it becomes a model i hope uh, that uh, you are able to understand the concept of the model and how we can develop different uh, types of model based on the literature review uh, and your uh, theoretical uh, framework these are the references that i have uh, used in the uh, present video thank you thank you very much